And we're back! Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Bonreal playing Oracle of Ages. And last time we were here, we began surveying the Crown Dungeon, which is the fifth dungeon in this game. And right now, I'm basically restocking my hearts, and we're gonna explore a bit more. Um, this is the same day as the previous recording. I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna do a batch recording for now, and, um, have them queued up to load, because I'm gonna be going back to my parents' house where I want to have access to my recording stuff. And I, honestly, I would just like to read and maybe play some games I haven't played in a while. Huh. On a related note, let me see if I can... Yeah, yeah, it transfers from room to room. But in any case, I feel like my commentary has been lagging lately. So what I did was, um, before, um, up until I think like the 17th episode, I, um, wrote notes, um, right before I, um, actually recorded, or started my recordings about stuff I'd like to talk about, or just stuff I was thinking about during the day. You know what, I don't think this is, I'm gonna go this way. I'm afraid to open the map. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo, that's not good. Fuck. <laughs> um, um, let's, let's kill these, these baddies real quick. Get out of here. And then, um, I'm gonna lift up these pots. But, um, I actually wrote notes for this recording. So that I could get my thoughts more organized, because I just feel like I haven't been really talking about stuff other than <laughs> my desire to not be single and to have sex, which is cool. I mean, I think sex is a wonderful and natural part of life, honey, but there are other things I'd like to talk about, and I kind of just default to that, because I'm, I think that, um, it's just easier to talk about, because it's like at the forefront, <laughs> it's at the forefront of my brain. Um, take, take with what that information, take that information how you will, um, but, in any case, um, yeah, <laughs> it, it's still the same day. I really want to try to open the map, fuck, and see where the hell I should be going now, but, uh. Oops. But, at the same time, I don't know if you know from earlier parts, my game actually tends to crash when I try to do that, so I'm gonna... Oh, hey, I'm dumb. I got a key! I'll use it to open a locked door block in this dungeon. That's handy. Ah! So we actually don't... Also, I, if y'all are wondering, we actually don't have a weapon that lets us deal with those, um, bouncing things with the X's on their face quite yet. I mean, not X's on their face, the skull and crossbones. Well, I guess it's not a skull and crossbones, but the, with the little skull. I forgot what they're called. They're not anti-fairies, though. Um, in Oracle of Seasons, you'd use the boomerang to kill those, but we actually don't have a boomerang right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Come here. Ah, whatever. I'll just, just change the shit. Get over here. I'm really trying to figure out where I should be going now, but... I guess eventually I'll figure that out, because I haven't seen anywhere with the keyhole. I might re-enter the dungeon from the start and see um, if I, it's near the entrance or something. Actually, I already know I can't go this way yet, so I'm gonna... Alright, I'm gonna risk opening the map. Okay. Well, that was very unhelpful because I actually don't have the, um, the dungeon map yet, so... I'm going to see if I can go all the way to the right. And... Fuck! Okay, so I'm going to throw a bomb over there then. <sighs> Not far enough. Can I shoot seeds over this? Let's see. Actually, let's try to switch up. There we go. <laughs> Yay. 
Okay, so I need to go to the right one more. Ah! Get away from me. I need to go to the right one more time. In any case, because I'm getting kind of bored just talking about this. Um, if I haven't mentioned before, or if you don't know, I actually have a Tumblr. Um, I'm going to link it in the video description if you're interested. Um, be Keep in mind, it's not necessarily safe for work. There are a lot of naked man butts. And, um, actually, I don't even think I have like parental nudes. They're just all like man butts. But in any case, um... Ha! Oh, you know what? I could use a bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get out of here. There we go. Yay, that worked out just fine. In any case, um... I have a tumbler. Um, and I'm not necessarily, I like it, um, it lets me, I have a lot of people from school added on it, which is pretty cool, um, I get to, to learn things about them and how they feel about stuff, that's cool. However, at the same time, I get kind of annoyed with Tumblr, just because I feel like there's a lot of group think that goes on. This is actually how I feel about most, um, online communities, and why I've been very, um, skeptical or rather wary of joining any. Um, it took me a really long time to get a Facebook. In part because... Um, let me see something. Okay, so there's a hole there. Alright. Well, I guess the light turns on too. And... Heh. Oh, I have a... I forgot I had that equipped. Um, that's actually part of the reason why I'm not a big fan of Reddit either, is because I feel like there's a lot of group think that goes on. Okay, I can jump that way. Okay, there's a wall here, apparently. Or not. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I got a switch hook. I got a switch hook that I can use. No! No, 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 no. Damn it! <laughs> um, if you're wondering why I'm throwing the bombs, I'm basically just seeing where there's a floor because apparently it's invisible. Sadly, I can't reach that far. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect, I got a small key. Yay! But, um, that's actually why I'm... I haven't talked about this yet, but I'm not a big fan of Reddit for for that reason. Um, I just don't like how um, it's just really prone to groupthink and like people kind of just like bullying people on the internet, which I guess is I don't think that it's necessarily wrong to exercise pe power over people. It's just it, it can be a very I just, I, I'm not a fan of the environment. Um, and even though sometimes they're at um, opposite sides of the things, which is not to say Tumblr or Reddit is like a monolithic group of, of people who all value the same things, they're decidedly, in my opinion, are at least a, 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 a pretty big chunk of people who um, do hold similar beliefs and will kind of really aggressively stand against people who disagree with that. Which is, again, I don't I don't think there's actually anything inherently wrong with people disagreeing or arguing, or even really being aggressive towards people who believe or do things that are in opposition to what you believe. In fact, I think that's actually a beautiful part of life, even though it, it can be one that's very sad. And the reason I feel like that is because a lot of people really take for granted the fact that the fact that someone disagrees with you about some things actually does or can have very real implications on your life. Um, it's not if, if you have something at stake in it or you have like a very heavy emotional attachment to that, um, to something. For instance, let me go ahead and equip the 
this. Um, one of the things that Tumblr talks about a lot, which I, I appreciate, because again, I don't dislike Tumblr as a whole, I just dislike the per propensity for groupthink, but anyway, is um, the talk about joking about people's identities and how it can be hurtful. Oh hey, I recognize one of this. This is a boss in Link to the um, Link's Awakening. What the hell? You can just disappear them. The f Where are you? The f the fuck out. I think that's really interesting, you only have so much time to grab this and it disappears. Good job, Capcom. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. The fuck out. The fuck out. Get fucked, get fucked. In any case, that's actually a mini-boss in Link to the Past. Um, I feel like this dungeon might actually have more than one mini-boss, just because we encountered that thing pretty early in our, um, in our, um, little foray into the crown dungeon. I'm wondering how many floors it is, but I guess we won't know until we get the compass or the map, so. In any case, um, joking about people's identities and all that, the hell, all that glue box. Huh. Huh. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try that two more times. And if I don't make almost, kind of. You know what? I forgot. Oh no, I can't. Shit. See, if there was a pot that was further over, I could switch hook it. Or not switch hook it, but I could, um push it over here, but because it's against the wall, I can't really do anything about that. Alright, that's cool, whatever. In any case, um, joking about people's identities, a lot of people, um, bring up that it's kind of douchey to tell people to get over stuff, um, or, like, to not take jokes so seriously when it's, like, about a very intimate part of themselves, and, like, certain groups of people might not necessarily... Or not even groups of people, just certain individuals sometimes might not even be familiar with that kind of struggle, and at the same time are telling people to kind of get over something that they themselves haven't had to face. And, and why I relate that to this is that I think a lot of people, or especially as children, a lot of people are taught that all arguments are, like, really petty, or that, like, all disagreements are just people not being willing to cooperate. But there are times at which I think it's completely appropriate not to want to cooperate, just, um, um, because of something you believe in. I think there's, like I said before, I think there's beauty in that. Um, to care about something so much that you're not willing to compromise over it. Although at the same time, I also very really acknowledge that that can be a very dangerous habit, um, not habit, um, way of thinking about things. In fact, it can be a really dangerous situation, and it can, not only dangerous, but a very disheartening one, if you can't really compromise with people in any situations at all. But at the same time, again, I think that, um, everything, see, my personal view on life is that almost every, will you die? Oh my god, no, <laughs> oh, there we go, freaking dark nuts. Um, almost everything is arbitrary, and I think that everything is situationally based, which I guess other, some people, I mean, I don't think that's a, a, a very unique view, but, I mean, I just think that a lot of things are situationally based, and a lot of people feel like, are taught that things kind of only work one way, or, like, when there something is disproved like if they believe okay a good example is i guess with religion where um a lot of people i feel who um are anti-theistic at least in in the united states raffle 
um, are so because they've had a negative experience with Abrahamic religions or Christianity, and they don't necessarily, um, and so they go on to believe, after being taught that religion is so good, and then, like, realizing that, in fact, it, it like many other things on the planet, actually has the capacity to really hurt people. They kind of just really strongly believe in anti-theism without seeing that, in part, it kind of just works both ways, in my personal opinion, at least. I actually... I'm not religious at all. Um, I'm in the camp that doesn't really care. What I believe in is people. TBH, I... Um, if there is some sort of higher power, um, that doesn't really concern me, <laughs> TBH. Um, I mean, my life sucks anyway. Well, not not really, but I've, I've never been happy anyway, and I do get um, small joys from, from helping people I care about and being with them. So I, I really just try to focus on, on people and not necessarily pleasing a higher power, but in any case, I, I've gone on a lot of tangents <laughs> this episode. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember what I was just talking about. But in any case, um, <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like a lot of people just become anti-theistic um, because of their bad experiences with Christianity, and because it's kind of a reaction to people feeling kind of betrayed by religion. And then they consequently don't see um, the propensity for good in religion. Which I, I think that, again, everything is arbitrary and everything has good and bad qualities. And that's not to say that um, there there's anything pure or anything inherently unpure. That's just saying that things are what people make them, in my opinion, a lot in a lot of situations. And so, I guess, what I really want... <laughs> <sighs> it's just, um, people to maybe see that. But the reason why I use that e example of religion in the first place was that people tend to really strongly believe in things that don't necessarily, um, they don't realize perhaps the arbitrariness in some of the things they stand against and for. <laughs> And they, one of my other personal views is that anything people do um, has the can, can be beautiful, or can be very valuable, or at least something to be learned from. Just because just there's so many angles to look at things from. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm rambling a lot, but whatever. Um, I'll catch y'all in a bit. I'm going to actually record.